More now on Jeremy Corbyn's victory and his plans for the Labour Party. With me now is Catherine West, who is the Labour MP for Hornsey and Wood Green in North London and previously served as the leader of Islington Council, which is in the Jeremy Corbyn's seat. He's very popular in Islington and North London, but is he going to be popular in the country? Well, that's the challenge. And we know Jeremy grew up in Shropshire. We know he has a real love for the English countryside. He can tell you every single campsite in Sussex or beyond. Um, and I think he will reconnect with people who perhaps fell out of love with Labour a little bit because they consider us to somehow metropolitan elite. Now, despite the fact that he's the Islington North MP, in a lot of other ways, he's a very genuine um, English man. I think he's going to reconnect with the regions in a way that perhaps others couldn't before. So I think that's actually going to be quite interesting because we think of him as, obviously, he's my neighbouring MP. But if you actually talk to Jeremy about his interests and the way that he connects with people, he is going to be somebody who will connect in the regions with people. A lot of people, uh, including people who don't support him, say he has tapped into a kind of anti-politics, anti-politicians idea in this country and he seems uh, authentic as a personality and that's all fine. But in terms of his, his policies, in other words, the sort of things he would do if he became leader of this country rather than just the party, do you really think some of these policies will connect with people, mm. given that they would m mean mm. higher taxes and possibly, you know, effectively pacifism? Well, let's take the really difficult one, which is the um, economic argument. I think if people had been persuaded that from 2008 to now the quantitative easing program had worked and everything was fine now, because don't forget we were promised by the Tories that by now we wouldn't have any more cuts, everything would be finished. The Tories are about to announce a massive cuts program. And I think we do need to question whether the quantitative easing for the banks has worked. Have they lent to small business? I'm not sure. Everything feels as though it's actually going to be deflationary rather than really getting us back on track. Um, so I think there are real questions about the economy and there are real questions about people's everyday lives. Um, and I think that's why we have to think carefully about investment in our social infrastructure, not just schools, hospitals, etc. Um, but also in the National Health Service. We know that cuts to the public services cannot go on forever. We've had you know, a long time of cuts now, and the idea of another five years of them is, I think, very hard on a lot of people. Can we turn to the, the foreign yeah. policy question as well? Because, as you know, the Conservatives yesterday yes. said he's a, he is a threat to our national security. Um, there are a lot of people who think that the Iraq war was a total disaster. So we would agree with the sort of things that he was saying before that war began. However, this country is not a pacifist country. This is a country where most people do believe that sometimes our national interest demands a strong military and perhaps intervening. Well, I think um, Jeremy Corbyn and his new shadow team will always look carefully at any proposal which is brought forward from military experts, from the government, from the defence team, they will always look at every single proposal. But if we're talking, for example, about going into a four-way civil war, I don't believe that that is the sort of thing that would necessarily have the whole country's support because a four-way civil war, are you helping Assad, for example? Are you helping IS? Who are you helping in that scenario? Things are very, very complex and the something must be done and the definition of something must be done, dropping more bombs. There are real question marks now about whether in the case of Syria, which is I think what you're referring to, because we will be debating it in the autumn in Parliament, there are real questions there about whether that something should be military intervention. Do you worry about those within the party who are prominent names, quite big brains, quite big names, Rachel Reeves and, and, and others, who don't want to serve Yvette Cooper, don't want to serve in his cabinet? Well, I'm really sorry that they don't want to, because Jeremy has extended an invitation to all of those people who ran with him in the leadership um, election and so on to be part of the team, to get behind Labour. I think the members of the Labour Party have challenged us as parliamentarians to be united, to get together behind the candidate who they have chosen, and we must do that, because otherwise then there's going to be a complete breakdown with the democratic mandate within the Labour Party. There is one other... Uh, issue which will undoubtedly come up over coming months, which is the loyalty question, because there are those within the Labour Party who say Jeremy Corbyn has been a serial le rebel. He has not been loyal to the party leadership through the years. Maybe that's one of the reasons why many people like him. But he will demand a degree of loyalty uh, in Parliament, will he not? And why should he receive that from people? 
Well, I know that he now has Rosie Winterton, who was the, um, who's been the Chief Whip for a number of years. So he has an extremely experienced Chief Whip. And I myself don't understand the inner workings of the Whip's office. I'm too terrified to go there. <laughs> but um, I think between Rosie, who is well respected, well liked and understood, and Jeremy, I'm sure that they will come to an agreement about the style of um, how the internals work at the, um, in the Labour party within the uh, the commons but I'm sure that they will work it out because I'm very um, confident that someone like Rosie together with the experience don't forget yes Jeremy has um, rebelled on a number of occasions but also he's a very experienced parliamentarian he's got 30 years and perhaps with his ability to set the agenda the agenda a little more maybe there'll be a different way a slightly different way of approaching some of those questions. Catherine West thanks for coming in nice to talk to you.